How's it going everybody? I'm Frankie for Wasp Nest Videos and today we're going to be going over my paintball gear bag. Okay everybody, to start off, what I've chosen to go with is the hybrid 3 days of Pacoma rolling bag. It's got the telescoping handle, several pockets on the outside to store little odds and ends, two large inner compartments, great for all of your paintball gear, whether it be for a day or a weekend of paintball. Let's take a look inside. Once we've opened the bag, we see that both sides have their own separate compartments, separated by the soft mesh and liner that they have on the inside. And right between the two, snugly fits your marker of choice. Let's go ahead and take a quick look inside the compartments and see what I fit in here. As you can see, there's a lot of room in there for storing almost everything you'll need to ever have with you on the paintball field for a day or a weekend of fun. And I'm going to go ahead and take everything out now and show you what it is that I take with me. Alright, what we have here is my gear. Uh, I have two pod packs, uh, the first being the bigger pod pack, the NXE 4 plus 3 plus 2. I use that when I'm playing in the back and I know I need to dump a lot of paint. Uh, the next is the white one, and it is an Empire liquid white. And it is a 3 plus 2 plus 2, but I actually out cut out the inner two and just kept the 3 plus 2. I do that because I know when I use that I'm either going to be in the snake or trying to get up the field as fast as I can, so no need to bring a lot of paint to weigh me down. Moving forward, we have a spare tank, always good to have. That is another 45-45 DXS tank. And um, right below that, we have my toolkit, which we'll be getting into later for a video on its own. And next to that, we have a spare hopper. Following that, we have my FEP Quest as my backup marker. Never know when you might need it. Next to that, we have pods. I have a combination of dye locklets and standard yellow pods, um, depending on what the situation is. Uh, we'll determine which ones I use. And above that, we have my dye I3 black with mirrored lens mask. It's my mask of choice. I find it really comfortable, really easy to project my voice out with it. And I like the way it looks. Above that, standard pod caddy. Just has a bunch of stickers all over it. Next is my barrels. I have a few different barrels, different bore sizes for what the situation presents itself. Uh, longer barrels if I'm playing in the back, shorter barrels if I'm playing in the front. And the original barrels for the guns that I have. Now, the soft goods are mostly Empire, as you'll notice. Uh, Empire was nice enough to give them to me a few years back so I kept them because they work well and what we have here are the Empire forearm and elbow pads Empire knee and chin pads Empire slider shorts Empire contact pants and Empire two finger gloves as far as the other soft goods go I have Under Armour underwear, Under Armour short sleeve shirt, Eclipse distortion jersey. Next we have the Thorlow socks, not really a paintball company, but they complement the Exalt cleats really well because they're a padded sock. The Exalt cleats come with two different kinds of studs, uh, the first being a regular stud for grass and whatnot, the other uh, the track studs. And they're a great set of cleats, really, really comfortable, really lightweight. And lastly, of course, we have my standard ego setup. So that's what I take with me in my gear bag. Let me know what you think, and let me know what you take in your gear bag. If you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube page, Wasp Nest Videos. For more paintball action on YouTube, check out PSP Events for some great reviews and more paintball talk. Check out Mad Dog PB. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, I'm Frankie with Wasp Nest Videos.